take the switch plate off first. Use a trim tool, just get underneath here. Just pry up. And then under here, you can pry up under there. You might need a couple trim tools. And just, it pops right up. There's some clips in there, over here, and over here. And disconnect the connectors. Just push down on the tab, slide it out. This switch, this connector right here, just slide up on this. And it slides out just like that. Take these two bolts out, use a T30 socket. At the bottom of the door panel, there is three screws. Use a T20 socket. Remove all those. There's a bolt right here. Use a T20 socket. Then get underneath the panel. You can use a trim tool and just pop it out. Then you're going to raise it up. And then just pull this over like this and just lift up. Disconnect the speaker right here. Just push on the two tabs on the connector. Slide it out. Disconnect the other connectors. If you need to, use a screwdriver. And there's a little tab right here. Push down on that tab. Disconnect this connector. If you need to, you can use a pick. There we go. And take the cable off. And just use a pick right there. Slide that. That slides up. It's just a little hook. And the last connector on the bottom here. Just use a little pick or a screwdriver. Take that terminal off. Take this connector off, I mean. There you go. Now the door panel's disconnected. Use a trim tool, get underneath this trim piece. And just pop it out. Take this little piece of tape off. Set that aside. Take a T20 driver. And we're going to loosen up the bolt in here. As you're doing that, this cover is going to come off on the outside. Just rock it back and forth. And just slide this out. Just like that. You may have to have the handle up a little bit. Just take a straight blade screwdriver and just pop this cable out. There's a cable right there. You can slide this forward. 
just come out like that. Around the perimeter of the door, there's all these screws. They're a T30, so use a T30 socket. You're gonna take all those screws out from underneath and both sides. You can use a T20, take this screw out. And that'll slide right off. Be careful, you don't wanna scratch any of the paint on this. Put it in a safe location. Disconnect all these connectors right here. Just use a pick or a screwdriver. This one kind of ratchets up. And then the other two, there's a lock. Slide under that red piece, slide that out. And then you can push down on the tab. And pull the connector out. Do the same with this other connector. Slide that out, push on the tab, and disconnect the connector. Use a T25 and take these three screws out. I'm just gonna hold the window prevent it from falling and then grab the motor and just slide it out. Now with the motor out we can just slide this down. We would need to take this screw out but there's also another one over here. So if you can slide it all the way down to there we can get those two screws out or loosened. And now loosen these up. Use a T30 socket. Good, do the same on this side. And just pull that away a little bit. And you can grab the window, and just slide it out. And very carefully slide the window up. You can grab this and slide that out of the way. And then place this somewhere where it's not gonna fall. Then we're gonna use a T30 socket and there's four screws holding this plate on here. Take those off. And then also on the window regulator itself, you have one there, one up there, one there, and then one up there. So take all those out. Now grab the regulator. Now grab the regulator and just slide it out. If it gets stuck on this bar, just push it in a little bit. There you go. Now slide the regulator in position. and get that bolt started. Now go back around and tighten down all the bolts, just snug.
Now we didn't install the motor yet, so we can push down on these, the clamps for the window. Just to get it to a spot where you can reach the bolts. That's good. Take a 10 millimeter socket and just loosen up on these. You don't have to take them out, just so the clamps spread apart a little bit. Now take the window and very carefully slide it into position on the clamps. Make sure the window is in the track. Right there. And make sure it's in the track on the front as well. And tighten these up. With the window in there loose, you can kind of see where the markings are on the window from before. You can try to wiggle that around. Just make sure it's in those tracks good. And then snug these down. You can make an adjustment later. It seems like it's too tight. With that in place, now slide the cable through this piece and just line this up. It's going to sit right like that. Now let's put the window motor back just to line it up. doesn't go on, there you go. If it doesn't go on too easily, you might have to move the window a little bit, but get the screws back in. And reconnect the connectors. Push them in, lock them down, push down on the locks. Where the door panel fastens to the door itself, you're going to have all these push pins. You want to use a trim tool and just pop these out, just like that. There should be all around there. And look at the back of the door panel, and they're going to go right here, 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 and here. And they just slide on, just like that. And make sure they're popped up like this. That makes them somewhat unlocked. And then when you push the door panel on, that's going to lock them in place. Now connect all the wiring connectors. I have one down here. And some of these are going to go through there for the window switch. Speaker wire over here. And the other connectors under here. And for the light. And then the cable, line the cable up. So the cable is going to go down. Slide it back, reattach it just like that. Make sure those wires come through there. And line the top part of the door panel up. And 
all those push pins to line up. There we go, those are all lined up. And put these screws back in. Just snug those up. And underneath. put these two bolts in. And tighten these down. Now I take the switch cover and connect the connectors. Lock it down and line it up and press it into place. All right, now take the outside panel, grab a couple of the screws so that when you line it up, you can just put those in. Just be careful. lined up pretty good. Before I put all those screws in, I'm just going to take this tiny screw that goes into the handle, get that started so that that doesn't fall out. Good. All right, now I'm going to start tightening these down. Yeah, I'll just snug this bolt up. Now slide the handle in, this side first, and you need to move this cable out of the way a little bit, and get the handle like that, that looks good, and then take the cable, which the hand, with the handle pushed in, then press this cable in, just like that, and that should feel like that. And take the lock cylinder and just pull the handle out just a little bit. Slide it in position. So push that, push that in flush with the door. And then you can take your driver and start tightening that screw. Now you can take that sticker and put that back over that hole right there. And then take this trim piece and slide it in position. 